This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Benjamin versus Benjamin. You all have been married for four years and together for 10 years. Is that right? Yes, Your Honor. And Mr. Benjamin, you indicated in your court papers that there has been some infidelity in the past, uh, but you all moved past it. But now you believe that the warning signs are back. Uh, well, Your Honor, I, uh, I've been on this ride and been married with my wife for, and together with her for 10 years. Um, I like to think I know her pretty well. And, uh, well, things just haven't been, haven't been right. You know, there's uh, been little signs here and there, arguments for no reason. I catch little text messages here and there that were there, but now I can't see them or anything like that or some secret apps, stuff like that. Ms. Benjamin, what are you here for? So I've had some problems in the past. I admitted to all of that, and I'm not I'm moving forward with 100%. I'm Rob addicted. Rob, Rob addicted. addicted. He's Rob. Addicted to Rob. I'm addicted to Rob. Okay. That's correct. And so <laughs> that's your own little thing. Yeah, and that's like, and that's my deal. And I want him to know that I had, I made some mistakes in the past, but now going forward, it's gonna stay it's me and him. And so you're saying there's no cheating going on at this point. Right. That's correct. I'm, there's nothing going on now. And you're here to save this marriage. I am here to save this marriage. It's more than anything that I want in this world is to stay with him. So, I guess my question is, what indicators do you have that she's cheating? I mean, you said you named some general things, but can you give me some specifics? Um, I got her cell phone. I said, hey, let me see your cell phone. And as soon as I looked at her cell phone, I went into the little, you know, little secret conversations part and uh, found some sexting going on with a family member. Uh, sexting with a family member? Yeah, yeah there was uh, videos. Um, that I didn't get to see because of some app that she has or he has or somebody has that it disappears after a certain amount of time, but it still leaves evidence there that there was something there. And you submitted in your court papers your recollection of what those right. texts said because you, because of the app, you weren't able to right. keep I them couldn't for see what she said. I couldn't see what he said or... So it was, you, what your recollection was... Mrs. Benjamin said, Rob left me. I don't know what to do. I'm bawling my eyeballs out. I can't stop crying. The family member stated, don't worry about Rob. You know I always want to sleep with you. Do you need some motivation to get over him? And she responded, yeah, I need some motivation. And then there appears to be a video, and that was a video of him pleasuring himself. Is exactly, that correct? Exactly, yes. And then she responded with, a picture Pictures of her, of her breast. Of her breast. Yeah. Miss Benjamin, did you send a breast picture to a family member? I did do that. Whatever. He had left me, and he said he was done. He's over. He's not coming back. And this is it. This is the last time he's leaving me. Here's the deal. I've had a fight or two with Mr. Cutler over 35 years. You can anticipate right. that. Right. But my response was not to send pictures of my breast to another family right. member. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That's right. I mean, why would you think it was appropriate, even if you were going to divorce him, to send your breast to a family member? I don't know. It was a bad, bad decision that I made. And I don't know why that happened that way. I don't know what mood that... I don't know what happened. I don't know why I decided to do something stupid like that. Mr. Benjamin, do you believe that she may have slept with this family member? Yes, I do. Ms. Benjamin, have you slept with this particular no. family member? No, I have not, ever. Have you had any kind of sexual contact with this mem family not member? At, not at all. So it's just a sexting thing? It was just a sexting thing this one time. Mr. Benjamin, what other reasons do you have to believe that your wife is cheating? We were at a laundry mat uh, doing laundry. She uh, goes outside to smoke and uh, meets, a, meets a female outside. Um, they hit it off, I guess. Uh, next thing I know, we're in, a, uh, we're in the hotel room and uh, Hold wait, up. next thing what? you know, she just invited us to go have drinks, get to know each other. The lady was from out of town. We all just hit it off as like a friend kind of thing, I guess. We, she said, hey, I got a room. Let's go have some drinks. So, so you got, left the laundromat yeah, and the went to her, you, the two of you. To, went to the, to the lady's room. Her hotel room. Yes, yes. We went there, we were having some drinks. The, the lady gets a phone call from a guy she said she has to go take care of something, loops my wife into it. And next thing I know, I'm sitting in the hotel room by myself while my wife that's and not lady That's is not gone. how that worked. And, uh, all right, so... You, that never happened. The three of you all are in a hotel room. 
Next thing you know, your wife and this other woman are leaving. They left. Yeah, that, they, that, okay. that they so went to go. They went. I don't know what they went to go do. She says that uh, she wanted my wife to drive for her or something, and, and right. uh, then they come back like an hour later. Well, what do you think happened? I, every time I tried to get an answer, it's like they were working together as a team to avoid, you know, avoid getting happened. the truth and avoid getting the answer. I mean, All no right, Miss Benjamin. Tell us what happened from your point of view. From my point of view, yeah. I don't even remember, honestly, going anywhere with this girl. She, um, she, we were in the hotel room, yes. The only thing that I remember doing, and my husband was outside of the realm, is I was in the bathroom while she took a shower, and that's it. Okay, so at some point, she decides to take a shower. You're in the bathroom with a woman you've only met a few right. hours ago she was, while she's showering? Right, she was talking to me about she needed me to give her a ride somewhere and I didn't want to do it. But you were going to shower, okay. But, so he was okay, so you were okay in the bathroom with her showering, but you drew the line of giving her a ride. Right, right. right. <laughs> yeah. Because I didn't want to be anywhere by myself alone with her because my husband's going to say that I did something that I didn't do. Why, Why did, did you, you leave with it? the woman? I didn't leave with her. That's what I'm saying is I never left anywhere with her at all. Mr. Benjamin, are there any other men that you are concerned about that your wife is cheating with? Well, yeah, there was a guy we met online. Um, turned out to be a really cool guy. Actually, I could see, see this guy and I becoming, you know, good friends and everything. But at the same time, we also had a threesome a couple times, too. <laughs> Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't get enough rest for this case. <laughs> I, I right, yeah. So you met a guy online. Well, we get to talking. We, you know, we, you know, I noticed this guy's a pretty cool guy. We have a lot in common and everything. We're drinking. We get tipsy. We, you know, and then wound up having a threesome. But it happened more than once. Oh. With your wife. With my wife, yes, and this individual. And then I leave. During, you know, we get in our fight, I leave. And this guy the whole time, you know, days after the events, was always keeping in contact, you know, as a friend. He's like, hey, good morning, guys. How's your morning? How? Oh. But then I leave during uh. our, you know, we get in a fight and I leave. Who gets in a fight? Well, you, uh, uh, my you, wife and I. Okay. And, and I leave for like three days. Okay. And in I, those three days, you. this guy, I don't hear nothing from him. Okay, so, like normally he's keeping in contact. Hey, how you doing? All that. But oh. then all of a sudden I hear nothing from him. So it usually be... she's blowing my phone up and I'm hearing nothing from her. And so you believe that they were hooking up while you were away on that three day Absolutely. period. Absolutely. So your concern is this threesome turned into a twosome Two without you. Not a Absolutely. Not yeah, ever. that's what I believe. Not ever did that have happen. But you know, of course, I don't know this guy well enough to, I've called him, I called him on it and said, hey, is this going on? He said, oh, I'd never do that. I'd never disrespect you that way. But I don't know this guy well enough to know if he's telling me the truth or not. And at the same time, I ask her, she says the same thing, but heck, I don't even know her uh, well all right, enough. All right, all right, Mr. Benjamin, Mr. Benjamin. But it's just, it's just fishy. Uh, 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 Absolutely. Mr. Benjamin, let, let's pull up and look at this, like, bro, <laughs> folks. You kind of open that box. I, I agree. <laughs> you, you said you don't know him well enough to whether or not he's telling the truth, but you knew him well enough for y'all to sleep with him. I agree. <laughs> so, I'm not saying if your wife had sex with him separately from you, it was okay. But you gotta kind of admit, if she did, you kind of put that out there for her to, to make that... But at the well, same no, time, no, I also no, said no, something no, to him no. because... If they had an agreement... We did. It was going to be the three of them. Correct. There was no side agreement that right. she could go off. And I went... And I didn't say, That's... but if we get in a fight, hey, help yourself. Yeah. They're grown folks. <laughs> Whatever they do is grown not, folks. I, but I am not... The, uh, the arrangement, the agreement was the three of them. And I agree. Oh, I and agree while I'm, the I'm one of the judges sitting here, I am not judging the behavior. I am just saying, if you on a diet and you put a box of chocolates there and I eat it, it's kind of expectation that, wow, she had Were that you temptation to the sitting chocolate? out there. <laughs> well, you know, no, I'm just saying that when you put the temptation in somebody's hands and say, okay, just look at it, don't touch it. Which is why I never made sure that I did not have that guy's phone number. I made sure that I was t keeping myself safe by not knowing how to get in contact with that guy. 
Because you thought it might go. Something like uh, this would happen. She's the one that found him online. Did, did you have feelings for him, this man? No, I don't have any feelings for him. But what? I knew because of us having this whatever that we did to, with him. That I knew that he and I were going to get into a fight, and then something's going to happen, and I'm going to get blamed for something I didn't do. So I made sure I made it perfectly, 100. percent I did no way of getting a hold of this guy. Okay, I, wait, wait. Your husband said, Mr. Benjamin just said that you found the guy online. I, did you find him? I found him online. I told my husband about it, and then that's it. And I. So then she has his email address. I don't have his email address. Were you attracted to this man? No, I was not. All right, so let me get this straight. <laughs> You are here because you believe your wife is cheating. You have testified about a gentleman that you had an agreed threesome with that you believe she went back and did a double dip. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> then there's the situation with a woman you all met at the laundromat who you believe your wife went with her to meet with another man and that she may have slept with him. And then we have the sex thing with the family member who has indicated that he wants her and has wanted her and you believe she may have slept with him as well. As, oh, yeah. Right. And you testified earlier that there was infidelity in the past early in your, in your relationship, but you got over that. Yeah, I forgave her for it. I just... I love the woman. She's my best friend. Oh, well, I am <laughs> hoping that you uh, are telling the truth. But, Me too. And I am, I am telling the truth. And I'm Rob addicted, like I said, but everything's Rob and Tracy. It's always been Rob and Tracy. We, I can't be Tracy without Rob. And All I don't right. believe that Rob can be Rob without Tracy. All right. So, Ms. Benjamin, right here, right now, you are denying that you had any kind of sexual relationship with this third person. Without my husband being there, correct. Without your husband's being never, there. Never, never happened. And you don't believe it? I don't believe her. See, my husband always thinks I'm lying I, when I'm not I mean, lying. Because there's so many lies. You know, I, we all sat, I sat her down right before we got married, and I said, if there's anything that I need to know, you need to put it out here right now. I said, if we can both accept what the other has said and get past that, then we're ready to get married. If not, then we have some things to work on. And obviously, at that time, I was deceived because we have some things to work on. And I wasn't told everything at that table. Well, to help you get to the bottom of these cheating allegations, the court has engaged the services of a forensic voice analyst, Mr. Guy Wolf. Ron, please escort Mr. Wolf into the courtroom. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, how are you today? I'm wonderful. How are you, Your Honor? Good. It's good to see you. You too. Can you please tell us what a voice analyst does? Yes, uh, we use what's called a forensic voice analysis system, and we measure frequencies in the spoken word. When you tell a lie, the FM frequency goes away and it shows up a certain way on the computer. That's how you can tell when somebody's being deceptive. And your credentials and your background, please. Yes, sir. I've been in law enforcement for more than 20 years. I've been a forensic voice analyst for more than 10, and I've literally performed hundreds of exams, both in the private practice and as a criminal investigator. So you've used this to put criminals in jail? I have, Your Honor. In this case, Ms. Benjamin underwent forensic voice analysis, is that correct? Yes, sir. Let's take a look at the first question that you asked her. Have you ever had sexual intercourse with Mr. Benjamin's? No. So the question was, has she ever had sexual intercourse with Mr. Benjamin's family member, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. What did the forensic analysis determine? The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. She said no. I see a smile on your face. That may be the first one. <laughs> now, let's see the next question. Other than the times that you have already admitted to your husband, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men? No. What did the forensic voice analysis determine? The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being... The forensic voice analysis determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. All right. I am so grateful that you were being truthful because this has <laughs> been a roller coaster ride of information. It's, it's, <laughs> welcome to my world. Literally and figuratively. Literally, literally <laughs> and figuratively. 
And, and Mr. Benjamin, you are holding on. Are you holding on because you were going to pass out? I don't... You, you're holding on to that podium. He's holding on because he's trying to hold on to his marriage. You wanted I answers. Like that. That's and you got the answers right that you wanted. Yeah. I, there's, a, there's been a whole new foundation built just now. So where do you go from here? Go home and be with my wife. That's where I go. Mr. Benjamin, let me just say this. This has been um, quite a story. And it is clear to me that there's a, a bit of a lack of a communication between you two that you really need to work on to go forward successfully. The other thing is, you really are going to have to put the past in the past. Yes. Otherwise, we're gonna, you, you're going to keep revisiting. So you need to put that behind you. Your marriage is like a bicycle, two wheels. It's not a tricycle. It's not a car. It's not a five-wheel vehicle. It's a two-wheel vehicle for you and you. Right. When you have outside people in your marriage, it's going to cause problems. Always. Right. We have counseling available for you, so you can take advantage of that, please, to help you as you move forward past this and put the past in the past. And as we say in this courtroom, don't cheat yourself out of a chance for a happy relationship. Court is adjourned.